this is the zero export device which is used for uh, export control in polycab uh, inverters uh, this is the connection uva ub uc and neutral these are the three phase supply we have to give then uh, three cts we have to connect 21 22 port here we need to connect communication cable from the inverter these are the three ct coils we need to connect on load cable this is the 150 amps by 5 amps uh, ct coils if it is so 5 amps means it's equal to 150 amps then this is the lock here we need to open then in this clearly mention a arrow mark that arrow mark uh, should be in grid side means energy meter side for the three phase supply we have taken a uh, two core cable two runs here we need to connect all three phase supply to this system r y b and neutral it like this we need to connect all the uh, phases and neutrals here yes then the connection is done three phase supply and neutral is given properly which is ua ub uc and neutral as mentioned we need to connect three phase supply and then we have a ct coil for ct coil we have two cables one is red and one is black that should be connect as per the uh, connection diagram which is given uh, earlier uh, in the ct meter in the zero export meter uh, we need to connect these uh, cts one by one uh, as mentioned on the device very carefully we need to connect there might be a chance of interchange it will not work if you are interchange ia star ia ia star means let's say red cable we need to connect ia is the minus cable like black cable we need to connect cts like that three cts we need to connect downside of the device ia I, ia ib ic now coming to the communication port we have a 21 22 connection we need to cross check whether we are connected properly or not then we need to connect one plus and one minus 21 is the plus and 22 is the minus the same way we need to connect on uh, other side of the communication cable plus we need to connect uh, and minus we need to connect as per the uh, termination now coming to inverter side there is a option meter and meter here meter we need to connect in this port whatever we earlier connected one uh, socket na? that we need to connect here very carefully we need to connect if there is any loose contact or any polarity change it will not uh, limit the power it will not work properly after checking we need to uh, connect this uh, connector to the inverter like this we need to connect the distance between inverter to jdd device uh, it should be below 50 meters if it is increased the length uh, the communication uh, loss will happen uh, after connecting ct coil to the load cable we need to clearly observe the arrow mark uh, direction as shown in the uh, this circuit diagram the arrow mark should be in grid side in the picture where we have to connect where we have to not connect the ct coils he clearly mentioned the green color tick mark is the right position we have to put ct coils now we need to set some settings in the display inverter display so come to the point uh, here we need to go advanced settings then we need to give the password first we need to grid off 
in from inverter display any settings need to be changed uh, we need to switch off uh, first grade then we need to go internal epm settings internal epm settings enter then mode select option is there where itself it's come with off option we need to set meter in grid option meter in grid option we need to enter on meter in green then come back backflow power backflow power always zero fail safe we need to turn on or sometimes not required external epm settings we did we don't require to any changes here now then after changing all the settings we need to turn on grid once turn on we need to escape all the uh, settings come to the power it's generating 1150 watts because the load is only 11050 watts but the generation is more solar so that it will show limb by epm so it is limiting the power what is the excess amount from the solar panels that is limiting uh, by the inverter now we are turning off complete load then it will show 20 watts so there is no load the no load condition inverter should be uh, generate 20 watts only that we need to cross check cross check changing the load if you are increase the load automatically the generation power also will increase if you are decrease the load it will decrease the power generation it is showing 20 watt generation because the complete load is in off mode from the customer to increase the load then we need to check whether it is increasing properly or not now the load is increased the power also increased so the system is working properly it is it is limiting the export thank you